here with the ever delightful Henry Roth. Now you are a returning guest to the annual Shine and Dine because I remember interviewing you last year. How are we? You have a good memory and I am a returning guest and I actually call up Sharon and I said, Sharon, if it's the one thing I want to do this year, please put my hat in the ring. I would love to attend and I've flown up especially for Melbourne. It's amazing that you're back because for the viewers that so haven't seen last year's events, tell me, well tell them what you did, because you did something very, very special, didn't you? Well I think it's really important to remember what this event is about. It's about shining a light on Make-A-Wish through the Shine and Dine event. It's in a massive black and white, you know, black, black tie event. And most importantly, it's elevating the whole idea of the recipient of that Make-A-Wish. Yes. And last year we had Brianna, and Brianna told me in the beginning she didn't like me. And I said, you don't have to like me. Are you joking? No, she said. She said, look, I don't really like you. I don't know what you're here for. And I'm like, well, you know what? I agree. <laughs> so we cut the ice and we danced together. Yes, you did. Now, interestingly enough, this year it's the opposite. So our recipient, Chris, wants to remain in the audience. And so my responsibility is to shine a light on all the children that are receiving and have received gifts of Make-A-Wish. And it's actually 8,000 since 1985. And it's the medicinal property of what a wish actually gives a child with serious illness. And I mean, look, are you going to be back for next year? Because it seems like this event every year just gets bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. Um, I spoke to Sharon and I asked her before I speak tonight, you know, what are the main things that you want me to talk about? And I think the thing that she's really keen about is growing the event. And it's not just for short, short term, it's long term. So inspiring other friends to come, involving themselves in the silent auction, being involved in long term by going on to shineanddine.com.au and also makeawish.com.au and being involved. Everyone wants to come to this event from coast to coast, around the country, everybody knows about it. Maybe we could make it a national thing. What do you think? We could come to Melbourne and do it. Well, I think that a lot of people have come here nationally. I think yeah. I'm seeing a lot of faces here from uh, a few friends of mine from Tasmania and I've seen some friends of mine from, of course, Melbourne, Sydney, of course, yeah. Vivid. And um, I think stay where you are and let people come to you. Okay, all right. There's some advice right there from Henry Roth. Thank you so much. Have an amazing evening. Mwah. A pleasure. Thank you. Good luck.